Hello my friends, and welcome back to my channel. Well, this is a little bit of a different position for my sit-down videos. <laughs> this is usually where I film my vlog clips, but I've got so many books I need to haul, I need to put them away. <laughs> And so we're gonna do a haul right here because I have so many books and we're gonna haul them. So I haven't done a book haul in quite a while and they have kind of caught up with me. So now it is time to show you what I got. So these aren't really in any order of when I got them or who I got them from. They're just stacked up on my desk behind me where my big head is covering. That's where I put them until I can put them on my shelf. So let's go ahead and get into what I got. So one of the books that I bought is Brown Eyed Girl, no, Smooth Talking Stranger by Lisa Kleypas. I thought, I don't know why I said Brown Eyed Girl. I know I didn't buy that one yet. This is Smooth Talking Stranger by Lisa Kleypas. This is, I am not entire. I think this is maybe book three in the Travis series. Is that right? No, I don't know. I actually don't. I think it is book three. I'm not sure. This is her contemporary romance series about the Travis family. I have read Blue Eyed Devil and really loved it and so now I want to read all of these books so I'm very happy to have this paperback copy because they are kind of hard to find actually the physical copies of those books. Okay and then I have two books that I bought for the step backs from the lovely Gigi from By the Trope and one of them is this one by Kinley McGregor who is also Sherilyn Kenyon that's her pen name and look at this step back isn't it gorgeous? I just freaking love the double hair fist. Like, ugh, I love it so much. All I really know, it says fearless men, their allegiances to each other, but to the oppressed and to the secret society known as the Brotherhood of the Sword. And they must never surrender to the passionate yearnings of their noble hearts. So I want to read this one so badly. If you have read this book, please let me know if I should prioritize it. I honestly bought it just for the step back because it was beautiful. Also, this one was another purchase for the step back. And it is this one by Dara Joy. It is mine to take. Like, I am kind of obsessed with this cover. Focus on it. It won't focus because it's so... Okay, there we go. It's so bright and shiny. Isn't it just so amazing? Ah. And also the step back is gorgeous. I love this. <sighs> Sensual and sinuous, full-blooded and untamable, a uniquely beautiful creature who could make himself irresistible to women and feral at heart. And he was hers to take. Oh my goodness, I love it. I need to read this. Have you read this book? Let me know. It sounds amazing. Okay, and then I bought this book that was a new release. This is the new mass market paperback size, so it's a little bit bigger than a regular mass market. Like, they're a little bit taller and also a little bit wider. But this book is Vanessa Kelly. This is The Highlander's Irish Bride. So this is book three, I think in her series, maybe three or four, because I think there's a Christmas book in there too. Anyway, I've only read one book in here and I really liked it. It was a Scottish historical romance and I think this is beautiful, so I'm happy to have that. And then, let's see if I can find it somewhere, right here. Ugh, actually not and then, we'll get to that one when we get to it. <laughs> My stack is gonna fall over. And then, would you believe that I was very lucky to win these two books on a TikTok giveaway? I do have a TikTok. I need to link that in my bio if you're on TikTok. I do TikToks occasionally for books. And Elisa, Eloisa James is on there, and I really love her TikToks. And she was having a giveaway for two autographed copies of her books. And so I won these. And I was so happy because I never win giveaways. So I'm excited. I don't own... E I do actually own Desperate Duchess. But mine has a step back, and this one does not which is sad, but I already have one with a step back, but this one is signed. So I'm excited about those. Can't wait to read those. I still haven't read the series, either of those series. I know one is a spinoff. Okay, so then after I read Deborah Mullen's books a few months ago and really liked it, I wanted to try and find more of hers. They are out of print and kind of hard to find. I found this one I believe I bought this from Gigi. This is Scandal of the Black Rose and look at this beautiful back cover. Ooh, I love it so much. I'm excited to read this one. Okay, and then my dear friend Tala has been keeping an eye out for me for Lisa Kleypas books or historicals she thinks I might like, and she found me this one, someone to watch over me with this absolutely breathtaking step back, which I did not have. 
and I love it so much. And then she also found this little gem, this Tessa Dare, Goddess of the Hunt. So I haven't read the series. I'm kind of curious to read it. I know a lot of people have been reading Tessa Dare, but I lately, but I haven't read any of hers. Well, other than the novella I read, I haven't read any of hers in a while. Okay, one more historical romance stack that I have to go over. Actually, these are not, these are historicals, but they're like historical fantasy, historical romantic fantasy. This is Darkest London series, I believe. So Firelight is the first book. I read this, gave it four out of five stars, really enjoyed it. And then I can't remember, I think this is the second book, Moon Glow. They are a little bit paranormal, historical fantasy romance. I really liked the first one. And then this cover has me swooning. Can you even... I literally bought this for the cover, honestly. It's so freaking gorgeous. It's Winter Blaze. So the cool thing about this series is, yeah, look, they're on the back. One, two, three. Is that they are set in the same world, but each book has a different couple. So you do get a happily ever after at the end of each book. And that way it's not drug out through the whole series. So I'm excited about that. Can't wait to read these. Well, the two I haven't read anyway. Okay. And then let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. And then I went book shopping at Barnes and Noble with Sam from Sam Reads a Little and bought a couple of mass market paperback historical romances that I didn't have. I grabbed this one by Beverly Jenkins, which is just stunning. I haven't read the series yet. It's the same series. And then I bought this one, which is so beautiful. Oh, I just love her books so much. They are so gorgeous. I love how like his shirt is open and she's like, ah, it's so pretty. And then I also bought this book, which I haven't read yet, but I've heard great things about it. The Princess Stakes by Amelie Howard. So I'm excited to read that. This one is also that new mass market size, which makes it hard to put on your shelves with the other books. Anyway, those are fun. Okay, and then I have two more Lisa Kleypas books that Tala also found and sent to me. This stunning one, Where Dreams Begin, with the cutout and the gorgeous step back. Oh, it's so absolutely stunning. I just can't get enough of it. And then the crown of my collection. My heart is so happy to own this. Dreaming of you with a step back. Tala, thank you so much. We have my beloved Derek Craven. Ah, I'm dying, I'm dying. I love it so much. I'm so happy to have this. And then, of course, I bought Devil in Disguise by Lisa Kleypas. Had to buy it. Of course, of course I did. This is a regular mass market size, but there's no step back and that's sad. I want them all to have step backs. Okay, and then this book was sent to me by Entangled Publishing. This is a Vanessa Riley book. This is two in one. It's The Brides of London. It is a stunning cover with some diverse characters on there, which is beautiful. And I can't wait to read this. So I don't really know what this is about, mm -mm. but there are two books in one. It's nice and thick and beautiful, and I can't wait to read it. So thank you so much, Entangled Publishing, for sending that to me. And speaking of books that publishers sent to me, I also got these two books sent to me from Avon. The first one is Second First Impressions by Sally Thorne. And the second one is You Had Me at Ola by Alexis Daria. I have not read either of these and I am very excited. Sorry. I'm very excited for these. So I think I do have the audiobook of this, but I didn't have a physical copy and I just love this is actually an illustrated cover that I adore. Like, I just love the detail in their faces. I love how you're getting some emotion. Ugh, this is a stunning illustrated cover, and I wish that if this is a thing to stay, they do more like this, because I love it. This one is super boring, and I don't like this cover at all. Just being honest. Okay, so now I have some indie romances to share with you. This book, this big, thick, beautiful book, is a bind-up of the first three books in the Deliver series by Pam Godwin. It is a stunning edition. I love it. I just love the cover. I love having all these books. I adored the first two books in the series, and the third one was pretty good, too. And I just needed to have a physical copy because it's beautiful. And of course, because of my newfound love of Pam Godwin, I had to buy a physical copy of Dark Notes, which has been one of my favorite dark romances I've ever read. I absolutely loved this book so much. 
Okay, and then I have tried to make it a point to only buy physical copies of books that I have already read and loved, and so unfortunately I love a lot of books that I read, so I had to get these three from the Brutal Birthright series. I do intend to get the other two also as well. These are by Sophie Lark. This is a mafia romance series. I finished reading this series this month, and these were three of my favorites other than Stolen Air, which I have a physical copy of that I hauled a while back. I think maybe it's still actually... <laughs> I lied, it's still in the stack too. I bought it since I hauled these. So let me put these in order. I am missing two books in this series. Okay, here we have four of these beautiful boys. So Brutal Prince is the first book. I love this one. <coughs> Stolen Air is still my favorite in the series. This is book two. Book three and four I don't have yet. Book five is Broken Vow. This is a softish mafia romance, and the hero is a cowboy who is like a cinnamon roll on the outside, but dominant in the bedroom, and I love this book so freaking much. And then the last book in the series is Heavy Crown, which is action-packed, a lot of mafia plot, but a very sweet and hot romance, too. It really sets things up for the Kingmaker world, and I can't wait to get to that series. I really loved this book. So this has been the only completed Mafia romance series that I have read. I am notorious for not finishing series, but it's my favorite and I really love it, so I'm happy to have these four. And then of course I bought Priest because I read this recently, freaking loved it, had to get my own copy of it. Also bought these two, two of my new favorite contemporary romances, absolutely freaking adored these. Tied and Torn by Carrie Ann Cole. Taboo Romances, Deeply Emotional. Loved them so much. And then I got the special edition copy of Twisted Games by Anna Huang. This is a six star read for me. This is a bodyguard and princess trope. It's a little bit of a slow burn, but when you get to the burn, it is blisteringly hot. He is extremely dominant alpha possessive hero and I freaking love this book so much. Okay, last pile. So then this book was sent to me by the wonderful Tara from the Read My Lips podcast. Thank you so much for sending me this book. This is my favorite mafia romance. I love and adore this book so much and I'm so happy to have a physical copy of it. <coughs> and then I was duped to buy this. <laughs> Not duped. I bought this because I fell in love with the cover. I don't know what it is about it. It's so stunning. I saw it on Instagram. It's called Heart in the Highlands. I've heard it is very emotional, extremely emotional. And I think this is, I don't know exactly. It's set in the Highlands, but it's an arranged marriage. It sounds like it's a second chance marriage, but I do think that this is a closed door romance, which I'm okay with if I know going into it. Like I don't, you know, I just think it's beautiful. I heard it's really emotional and I wanted to give it a try. So I'm excited about this one. And then this book was a complete impulse buy because I don't even know when I'm going to read it, but it's stunning. It's The Nature of Witches, and I believe this is sapphic, but I also think it's YA. So it's a fantasy. I don't know how much the romance is going to be in there, but I do think it's sapphic, unless I'm completely wrong. But the reason I bought it is because look, <coughs> look at what's under the dust cover. Is this not one of the most beautiful books that you've ever seen? Like, how gorgeous is it, right? I just, I don't even know. This is one of the prettiest books I've ever seen. And I think that I would really like to read this. I think I'm gonna try and prioritize this this fall because I think it would be a good witchy book to read. The cover is stunning. The naked book is stunning. It was on sale, I just had to have it, okay? And then I bought Sugar Daddy by Lisa Kleypas. I decided to get this one in hardcover because it looks so similar to Blue Eyed Devil, which are books one and two in the Travis series. And I kind of wanted them to at least match because the rest of the series doesn't look the same. Like the covers, even if you get a hardcover, they just look different. So I only bought this in hardcover to match Blue Eyed Devil. <laughs> and then the others I'll get in mass market paperback, hopefully. Okay, and this one is another cover buy that I was sucked into. This is Trial of Sorcerer by Elise Koba. I believe this is also a YA fantasy. And I haven't read YA fantasy in a while, but ooh, look at the undercover of that one. That's really pretty. But I have read Elise Koba's um, A Deal with the Elf King, a fantasy 
it's a fantasy, it's a white fantasy, it's a white fantasy romance, but I really liked it. I thought it was sweet. It was a really enjoyable story and I want to read more from her. So I bought this pretty, it was a cover by two, but like the art on this, oh, I just love it. This is the kind of illustrated cover I like too. Like I love the detailed art. Okay, just a few more books left. So this one I picked up when I went to Barnes and Noble with my oldest son. We took a day, we just went and hung out there and we were looking at the fantasy books and I just grabbed this because it sounds so good and I just love, I I am a sucker for a book that is aesthetic. Like if it feels good in my hands, it's like a good thickness and like, I, I just, I, I, I will buy books like that. You know, this is a fantasy book. That's all I know. <laughs> okay, now these two boxes were the most recent Mystic box that I got. These are by Pepper Winters. This one is quintessentially. <clears throat> so this is the Monsters in the Dark series. This is Tears of Tess. And this is quintessentially, I have not read either of these, but I think the covers are beautiful and I really want to give them a go. So very interested in those. And then the last book I have to share with you guys is this beauty from Hello Lovely Box. This was their Summer Bloom box. They had Britney C. Cherry with an exclusive cover. <clears throat> I love and adore Britney C. Cherry and so I ordered this and I'm super happy with it. I think the cover is very cute. I like it. I have not read this book yet so very happy to have this. So okay. Thank you so much for watching this book haul. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've made it this far, please feel free to leave me a flower. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.